People say that there's nothing left to discover in this world, but there are new species to be discovered, lost worlds and lost Edens to be found. Scientists are driven by a real thrill of finding something which is not known. It could be a fact which is not known, it can be a species which is not known. Just putting your little bit into this massive jigsaw puzzle of life. We concentrate so much on thinking about going into space and doing all of this, and yet on our doorstep, still, there's pockets of habitat that hardly anyone has been to. Some years ago, I was working on an isolated mountain in Malawi, and I noticed there were similar mountains over the border in Mozambique. There was nothing written about these mountains. There were no biological records at all. The area was largely inaccessible because of the war and the fighting that had been occurring for the last 30 years. So when I returned to the UK, I was able to see Mount Melange in southern Malawi, which is a site I knew very well. I was then able to look across northern Mozambique. And then as I zoomed in, I saw this dark green patch suddenly emerge. That was tremendously exciting because this could be a lost rainforest. You can just see the summit of uh, Mount Marbu coming up behind this uh, main woodland ridge. So we just entered Marbu Forest and immediately you can see a big difference. Look at the size of the trees. When you enter into a forest, everything changes. The forest is cool, and the canopy is high and it's very shady. Life is buzzing all around you. This is the butterfly that I stood for two days in the forest clearing trying to catch. Here we are. This is a juvenile Manticambia bailisai. I was lucky enough to find the first one of these. Since the main expedition, we've discovered approximately 12 new species for Mount Marbu. What medicinal use does this bracket fungi have? That is made so for back. The knowledge information that we could benefit from as humankind could be sitting here all around us. If you were a young scientist, you need to have some sort of hope that you can contribute something. It's not all known and you're just picking up the last crumbs off the table. There's actually a lot out there that we don't know. To actually find a hidden rainforest, which turns out to be the largest in southern Africa, shows that we don't have all the answers and we don't know what's out there. You're always asking questions. As soon as you think you have the answers, then new questions, new doors open. That's the beauty of life.